On this patient, has already been uh, pre-oxygenated with a high flow nasal cannula, um, face mask, high flow, 15 liters per minute, as well as the nasal cannula, 15 liters per minute. Uh, I've already given the medications of ketamine and rock, uh, 45 to 60 seconds have passed, and now I'm ready to intubate. I'm going to use my uh, channeled airway device, the King Vision, uh, so I can show you what I see. Um, do I have my Yankauer uh, suction ready? I do know that I assume that all these patients have a full stomach, and so I will proceed with a maneuver that may uh, make sense to some and make no sense to others. So I'm going to preload my ET tube with a 6.5, already connected to wall suction, already connected to a, a 10 cc syringe. I will proceed and do something that I never wanted my residents to do, or my students to do. I will proceed in trying to goose the airway I will proceed in inflating the cuff so now everything that will come out of the gastric tube will come in directly from the esophagus and stomach if you were to currently vomit I can actually take another ET tube with this setup go through the channel Reposition, intubate, release, remove the king uh, vision. Now I'll inflate this cuff and use the current modalities like entitled CO2, continuous qualitative, uh, quantitative uh, entitled capnometry, bag up the patient and have someone listen. Anteriorly, anteriorly, axillary, axillary, and uh, epigastrium. Listening for gastric interpolation to confirm uh, correct placement of the tube. Now, some would think that why don't I just intubate the patient straight up into the cords as fast as possible? I was just preparing for a casualty or a, a, a catastrophe from from vomiting from emesis. Um, I do think this technique, if you start thinking about it, would be easiest and best recommended for people who are actively vomiting from a, an SBO, uh, with lethargy and can't control their airway, or copious amounts of upper GI bleed. And think about it, patients with full stomachs from partying too much all night with lower GCSs, they may throw up at any time, before the preparation of intubation, during intubation, or afterwards. Why not decompress the stomach now? Okay, and I can always switch over this uh, endotracheal tube that's used, being used as almost like a gastric conduit, a gastric tube, uh, to uh, a longer uh, Salem sump, but that's later. Right now, I'm not fearful of any aspiration right now. Okay. Thank you. Any questions?